which we are meeting today, the Wurundjeri Woi Wurrung people, and pay my respects to elders from all nations and to their elders, past, present, and future. Uh, the Deputy Mayor, Anab Mohammed of the City of Yarra, was coming to open the show today. Unfortunately, she is unwell and has sent her apologies. So you'll just have to put up with me and the wonderful Jeff Robinson from Arts Access Victoria, who's one of our guest speakers here today. Um, this eight-week residency is in partnership with Arts Access Victoria and supported by the City of Yarra. It's in its third year running and this year is the result of being the recipient of the annual grants round one offered by City of Yarra. We've been able to offer our summer residents space to make art, experiment, explore their practice, assistance and guidance where needed and even some art materials this year. Yay! Which I was really thrilled about doing for our artists. Uh, both film and photographic documentation. We're also uh, doing, you'll see Leon around here today, filming and photographing. Um, once again, it's proven to be a great success. I'm so excited to showcase the work of these six amazing artists who have all made the most of this awesome opportunity. I would like to thank you all for your hard work, creativity, and making the space come alive. I've really enjoyed coming in week after week and seeing the works evolve um, and getting to know you all. Most importantly, that's always a real joy for me, meeting new artists, and hopefully now you're becoming part of our community here at the at, uh, Yarra Sculpture Gallery. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all and Julian, our art tech, who I think is running a little bit late, but he's put in uh, with the installation this time. And also the city of Yarra, we run on a peppercorn rent and we are an artist run space, not for profit. So just so you all know, as you're looking at all the works here today, the works that are for sale, we are not taking any commission or the sales go directly to the artists. So I would encourage you all to spend up and I hope you enjoy your time here today and I'm gonna hand over to Jeff Robinson. Um, thanks a lot, Andrea. Um, as Andrea said, my name is Jeff Robinson. Is this a good spot? Um, and I'm a manager of studios and mentorships at Arts Access Victoria. Um, I pay respects to the traditional custodians of where we meet, the Wurundjeri Wurrung, and um, to their elders past, present, and all First Nations people here today. Um, this always was and always will be Aboriginal land. I'm uh, super excited to be here and um, celebrate the Yarra Sculpture Gallery Summer Residency in its third year with Arts Access Victoria. Um, and the incredible art practices and artworks here today in the gallery. Um, before I talk about the exhibition, um, I'd like to talk a bit about AAV. So um, AAV began in 1974, and um, this is a particularly significant year this year as we celebrate our 50th anniversary. Um, in the coming months, we're going to be sharing projects across social media, um, uh, across social media of different um, projects across the decades, the five decades of AAV's existence. Um, and this will be culminating in a major exhibition um, at, called The Collective at the Stables at Meat Market North Melbourne over the month of July. So please um, check out our website and um, social media and um, keep tabs on, on that upcoming um, project celebrating our 50 years. Um, in my role at AAV, um, I um, oversee the studios and mentorships. I work with a fabulous team of creative producers and um, mentors and facilitating artists and art support workers and we coordinate 14 studios across Melbourne and, and over 30 mentorships. Um, the studios and mentorships provide accessible and supportive spaces for deaf and disabled artists to explore artistic practice and develop careers as artists. 
um, which leads us to here today to the Yarra Sculpture Gallery Summer Residency Exhibition, where six artists across AAB Studios and mentorships were invited to participate in the residency over the last two months. Um, thank you, Andrew, Andrea, for initiating um, this partnership over the past three years and inviting AAB into the residency program for the past three years, and the City of Yarra for, for their support, um, particularly in terms of um, uh, grants, funding, and, and providing free rent over the resident, residency, and as Andrea said, um, also material costs, um, which are really valuable. Um, residencies are such an important part of artist practices. They provide the space to make, um, to make and time to explore outside your usual practice. And here at your Yarra Sculpture Gallery, providing a particular focus to explore the development of art across sculpture, installation, and spatial practice. Each year it's always um, super exciting to see where artists' practices go, being in this space, both having the, the scale of this as a studio, as you can see, and um, also the time to, to make and to see where their practices shift in relationship to, to sculpture and spatial practice. Um, the outcomes here today are truly remarkable. Um, we have um, Garana, in, um, Garana Foley here in, in the Gallery 3. Um, beautiful works of um, found objects in resin and um, um, burnt wood pieces. Um, well done, Garana. Beautiful work. Um, and in the space here, we have um, Bram Heinrich McPartlin um, and um, beautiful work um, focusing on the Tasmanian tiger and um, starting out as a series of gouache pieces um, and then also some sculptural um, iterations of this work and the, um, the wood piece here you see is a, a work in progress and, and beginning to sort of sculpt a, a Tasmanian tiger out of this wood. Um, and um, also Bram has a, um, a publication as well which is for sale. Um, please, um, for all works that are for sale, I encourage Andrea for that sale. Um, a beautiful illustrative story by Bram. Um, also in this space we have Miranda Cook, this incredible um, installation of furry puppets um, within a set. Um, Miranda also has a work at the moment up in, a, in um, the Prism exhibition, which is um, opposite Cunningham Gallery, an evening projection um, work, which has some of um, Miranda's puppetry in that, um, which she experienced after 8 p.m. on um, um, each evening for the rest of the month. And then over to our right, we have um, Margaret Bold, um, beautiful drawings focusing on Australian... Watercolour paintings, thanks a lot Margaret, um, of uh, birds um, indigenous to Australia and also a, a um, squirrel glider there as well and 3D renderings of some of these animals in ceramics. Um, and across into the other spaces here we have Patrick Tonks, amazing installation covering large scale painting, drawing, um, ceramics and also a um, AV work, a video projection work with sound. Um, definitely recommend immersing yourself in all the various aspects of, of Patrick's work. And then in the projection space we have Patrick Tonks, um, a, a really <laughs> incredible, sorry, B, I'm getting names mixed up, B Rodriguez, sorry B, um, amazing um, installation um, of a giant fish that's being lured by a phone. Um, talking to the different relationships we have to phones, both the, the positive and negative aspects of that. Um, incredible installation. Um, congratulations to all the artists um, and their amazing works. And I, I'd now like to invite all the artists up to, um, to join me. And we'll say congratulations to everyone. And you also, um, I'd like to also open it up to the artists if they'd like to say a few words, both about their practice and um, their experience at Yarra, Yarra Sculpture Gallery. So, a hand of applause to the, um, the artists.
Without them, I wouldn't have got here. It's been hard for all of us. Um, I don't live in Melbourne. But I'd really like to thank the NDIS, AAV, the Arab Sculpture Gallery, because being a disabled artist is difficult. Being a contemporary artist and disabled is twice as difficult. And so, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone, all the sponsors, especially my mentor and also um, my friend, Christine, who works for me. So, yeah. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Hi, I'm V. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, it's been really dope to have this experience of working with other artists in a really big space. I don't think any of us have ever had this kind of experience of uh, being in a residency and then trying to figure out what a residency means and is, and uh, yeah, it was cool to see everybody's work progress, you know, and then watching everybody stress out really hard, and then everybody try to soothe each other, and it's also interesting to see, like, all of us have imposter syndrome, all of us think we're not good enough, all that, you know, rough stuff, but yeah, it was cool to try to, like, encourage everybody that, um, you know, we don't have to put so much stress on ourselves to be perfect, and uh, to make it happen, and, as you can see, all of us were just like, oh my god, our shit's so fucked up, you know, nobody could tell, luckily no one could tell with my brush stroke that I fucked it up, you know, and, um, but yeah, it's cool to just be like, you know, it's all good as it is, it's all actually great as it is, um, and yeah, my work was, uh, you know, when they asked me if I wanted a room, they're like, we can give you an all black room, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with that, maybe I'd do like, so I usually just do photography. I've never done any sort of sculpture thing or any other painting or anything like that. Um, but then I was like, oh, maybe I'll do like a fish thing. And it just like started, every time I like asked, gave somebody like a new idea, they like gave me another idea and it just like built into this bigger and bigger, weirder thing. And um, now it's turned into the insanity that you see in that room. And um, yeah, and I wanted to thank lots and lots of people, but there's like a whole, this was not just me at all. Like. I was like the brainchild of it, but uh, whatever the term is, the mastermind. But um, yeah, there was a whole crew of people, like 15 different people, like all the eclectic people, my partner Aggie, and Gio and Liv and Josh and Adam and other people that you see in the zone. And uh, yeah, props to AAV and to Yara Sculpture Gallery, to Andrea, to all the other sponsors, I can't remember. City of Yara, City of Yara Arts some other person is sponsoring us. <laughs> so, yeah, the NDIS, uh, my support workers, even the flaky ones, you know? Like, <laughs> you know, even the ones that just like held something while I, you know, taped some shit down. You know? <laughs> yeah, um, and yeah, I wanted to thank everybody for coming. And if you want to buy the fish, I'll sell it to you for a very high price. <laughs> and you can also commission us to paint your rumpus room if you're having a midlife crisis. <laughs> you know, want to like spice up your life. Uh, feel free to hit me up and you know, we could do that. Um, now introducing, do you want to say anything, Miranda? Miranda! specifically 
because I was given access to this space has been monumental. I've done things that I'm completely not used to doing. Um, there's sculpture over there and half a sculpture over there. Um, and it's been a phenomenal experience over these weeks. I've had the chance to explore a theme that really only solidified about a week and a half in, uh, because one of the most amazing things about this residency has been the encouragement and capacity to adapt and readjust when necessary. Uh, the work that I've done is about the extinct animal, the Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine. Uh, there's technically five, work, five completed works and one work in progress over there. Uh, welcome to have a look. I have all of them except the work in progress for sale. Um, and all of them have been an exploration of effectively the, the, I suppose, greed and the frustration and the eventual uh, political decision that was the extinction of the thylacine. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm very autistic and completely enthusiastic to talk about it. <laughs> so feel free to approach me at literally any point of this show. I will info dump at you and there is no avoiding Thank you very much for your time, and thank you very much for that. Oh, sorry, one last thing. I also have an unrelated but passion project over there that is called <coughs> Griffin and the Minor Canon. It's based on an 1800s fairy tale that I have illustrated with over 40 different illustrations, uh, mostly done digitally with some references. Um, it's for sale for $20. It's much more affordable than anything else that you're going to get here, but it's a very different type of work. Uh, the rest of my work is, you know, typical gallery prices. So, yeah, thank you. My name is Margaret Bell. I like the... My name is Margaret Bell. I like to thank uh, Yarra Sculpture Gallery for having this frequency and been able to continue my work during January, February, when art shop was closed but over the holidays and I continued it. And I did, did some uh, watercolour painting of birds and, and a couple of uh, sculptures made out of air dry clay. Quilly and varnish. I just finished them last Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you. return to Queensland mean fun fun. Pretty much winged everything in there mean that pretty good. Except the rocks, just about Queensland. Um, some of the items in there is like peak dish and dish, 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 sorry I can't say it correctly. The resin and items that I collected in Victoria or in Melbourne, mainly in Collingwood and Fitzroy. I'm not going to tell you the meaning of them. I want you to figure that out by yourself. I mean, if you can, cool. If you can't, also cool. No problem there. Um, the painting in the back, the history of trauma and law, that pretty much represents who I am. Trauma and law is my name, that's the meaning of my name. History, that's my history. I'm a black fellow, you know, been over being in Australia for what, nearly 60,000 years? <laughs> right? Well, that's what they tell us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> And um, you know, they got the wood burnings in there. I've liked all the wood burnings doing it for a while. I love snakes, love reptiles, all of it. Um, not really meaning behind it. Unless you want to find meaning in that case. <laughs> oh, any ideas? You know, I'm open to ideas, guys. <laughs> um, yeah. Instead of repeat myself, I had a great time here. Apologies, I remember your name. I 
avoid the terrible names. But I've had a meeting time. I'm gonna say Dave in the back over there. Wave, like put your hand like this. Yeah, wave. Give my art mentor. He helped me out greatly. Come out again here too in this um, program. I love every moment of it. Thank you, Dave. And uh, now I want to say, have a lovely day. Ta-ta. <laughs>